We're back. I'm back. I don't know why I said we. Me and Sandy. We're back. Sandy and I. And this is going it's gonna go much better. That is how it should have gone. I don't know what that is. Oh, that thing. Ugh. Seems this girl likes crit- of course it was a critical hit. Why wouldn't it be a critical hit? I do so love those critical hits. Make the world go round. Pharaoh Seed. Ah, that thing. Yeah, I will switch Pokemon. It strikes Joe out here. Sandy's great and all, but she's not- We're not gaining any experience from this thing. Low kick that son of a bitch. Up. Uh, iron barbs. How about that sun, huh? It's coming in a little bit. Has the mighty gatekeeper been defeated? Yes, as a matter of fact. No. You suck. Some experience. Yeah. So, there is an unforeseen benefit of forcing me into this level cap situation. Uh, nothing I encounter is going to be stronger than level 20. So, you know. That's kind of alright. I'm down to clown with that. What's your deal? Free experience, perhaps. Well, free, I say. Lita Abigail. If you say so. Ugh. Every time with that fake out. Jesus, that was like half your health. I swear, Sparky Sue. Once you learn an electric move, you'll be worth it, but... This is a rough road getting you there. And, you know, I'd like a fighting move other than low kick. Because low kick's damage is based on how heavy the Pokemon is, so... Now, if I'm fighting big dudes, it actually works out pretty well. Glamio. But these guys are all incredibly light. Or, you know, not particularly heavy. So, you know, arm thrust or brick break is ideal. I feel like brick break would be actually really great. I love brick break. Um, other fighting moves. Purloin. Uh, yeah, I have to, don't I? At this point. No, oh, Purloin. I had one of you briefly in a, uh... I think it was white? No, black. Black or white, I can't remember which one. I had a purple one. Didn't last, though. Didn't learn anything decent. Just got rid of it. Skitty! I think this girl had exclusively cat Pokemon. Turns out I'm accidentally fighting Noki. Who knew? Although... She, of course, would have upgraded the Glamio. Yeah, sure. Let's see if you ever... See if you ever upgrade those Pokémon. But which I mean evolve. I don't know why I'm saying upgrade your Pokémon. Strictly speaking, that can only apply to one Pokémon. Alright, everyone's good. Into the caves we go. Hey, bro, what's up? Sandy floor. Looks super unstable. If you make a wrong step, you might fall through the floor. Oh. Well, this is just great, isn't it? Is there any... Ah, oh, there is There is an indication. All right, so... Down. This is rather Undertale-like, isn't it? All right, so I go... Ah, oh, great. I didn't want to encounter things. It was the opposite of what I wanted. So down, uh... 
Alright, well, wait, what's that at the end? Ah, uh, yeah, alright, we'll give this a try. Give it a try. The old college try. The old one-two college try. I think I can... Ah! That's just a trick? How would I get that? I guess that's a trick. Or you get it later? I don't know. Oh, good! It also marks the path for you if you fuck up. That's very nice. Okay. Rock and roller. It's supposed to sound like rock and roll. Do you get it? What was my problem? One more? Yeah, it looks like one or two more. <sighs> well, again, these serve as... Really? Really? That's one wide? Okay. These serve as good markers, at the very least. And, you know, snake wood. They wouldn't even have that. It would just be like, wrong, you failed, obviously. Back to the beginning of the world with you. The most bitterly obnoxious way possible. Really? I am very bad at remembering. So one more. It looks like three... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really wish I'd stop running into Pokemon. Aw, Aron. Aron's cute. I like Aron. Shame I can't keep it. Right down here. Oh, come on. What now? Really? Even more, huh? And then, of course, I have to go around like that. And then I get to the end. I am terrible at this. Ooh! Oh, I'm gonna use that now. I don't know why I thought it would be in my phone. It's a stupid thing, really. They're also, like, all stronger than Sparky Sue, so I don't know why I bothered with that. Maybe it'll keep the same level ones away. Which I think that's good for. Okay. Damn it! I was going well, actually. Man. One more to the side. Would have done it. Okay, let's see here. How dare you. Ah, it's Woobat. Or Woobat. I'd love a Woobat. That's a flying psychic type, I believe. Oh, well. what I was thinking there. I do love how so much of this is dependent on the fact if I can judge where I fucked up. I think it's down to the bottom. I can't remember if it's up then over or over then up then over. There we go. What are you? Crimson Jewel. Oh, got it. See, that's good puzzle solving. I was able to figure that out through brain power. Unlike Snakewood, where it's like, herder. God, the proper way to go. 
It's actually 300,000 miles to the east. Whooper, what are you doing in a cave? 300,000 miles to the east, provided you tap dance on a Wednesday. That's the puzzle solving in Snakewood, and it's stupid. It's awful. This is, this is a far superior hack to Snakewood. Val, your suggestion of playing this, because it's so awful and cheesy, really still don't get it. This is a perfectly fine hack. You know, I rant and rave about how I need more Pokemon in the level caps and all, but you know what? That's tolerable. I can put up with that. Nothing particularly, uh... mind-bogglingly bad about this. Whereas Snakewood, it was mind-bogglingly bad. This counts as a path to the north? Jesus. It's quite the path. Very circuitous. Thought I was the only one here. We gotta battle so I can calm my nerves. You'd think, you know, simply talking or tea, like most people, to calm the nerves. <sighs> oh dear. Well then, Sparky Sue, you are stuck here. And you are using Quick Attack, so we don't get in this damn Astonish loop. Well, that's gonna kill me. Super effective. And I can't switch out. Yeah, see? Oh, Sparky Sue's dead. And I don't feel like walking all the way back to town at this point. So I guess she'll have to upgrade... God damn, level up a bit later in life. Meditide. Uh, no, actually. I shouldn't send out. Uh, it's Meditite, you see, a psychic. So, Strikes Joe wouldn't be a good match against Meditite. No. Registering too many people in my phone. I'll take your item. Is it a revive? No. I'll take that, though. What's up? No. I don't know who you are. This is, this is why I shouldn't take numbers from people. Huh. <sighs> This is the exact problem I have in uh, the Gen 2 games. Gold, Silver, and Crystal. It's alright in Gen 3. In Gen 2, those guys would call you whenever they felt like it just tell you the stupidest shit. It wasn't even, you know, as a rematch. It would have been alright if they called you when they need a rematch. They would call you and be like, Oh, let me tell you about that time I didn't catch a Pokemon. And it's like, wow, you're, uh... The life and times of you is really something fascinating, let me say. Gen 3 got it right. You could register trainers in your little phone thing. And they never called you, but it marked if they were ready for a rematch. You could, like, go in, sort of check it out, like, almost like a smartphone, really. Just check it out, like, ah, oh, yes. I see Dave's ready for a rematch. Strikes Joe should really be out in front. Now that I think about it. Also that. For that reason, mostly. Come on, Strikes Joe. You can handle a numble, right? Hopefully you got this. I'm hoping you have this. Really hoping you have this, Strikes Joe. You know what? Strikes Joe's got this. I was worried for a bit. Oh. He's not supposed to be faster than me. That's not good. This is the opposite of what I needed. He. 
was not faster than me. Oh, that was unfortunate. Well, might be a double knock, eh? Yeah. Son of a bitch. Like one more turn and I'd have had that. I blame society. No, I shouldn't stock up on items. You know what? Floaty Tom would have had that. Oh, maybe I should stock up on items. I have a better idea. Oh, I should stock up on Pokemon. What's that? I can't. Well, fuck you, Vishnu. That rhymes. I'm gonna keep using that. Fuck you, Vishnu. And before anyone gets on my case about it, yes, I understand that the point of this is unlocking slots in your team and allowing your Pokemon to level up higher. I understand that's the idea behind this whole mechanic. That still doesn't make it good. I still don't like that. You know, it's a better Pokemon game than Snakewood, and I'm a bit intrigued by this plot. You know, get home. Yeah, alright, fair enough. That's relatable to a degree. So, I'm gonna keep playing. I'm interested in this. I want to see where this goes. But, that doesn't mean I have to like the fact that you're limiting me with the Pokémon that I can use. In fact, I don't like it. That's a terrible mechanic. And I hope Nathan's hack, or suggested hack, is better. Uh, are you gonna give me the whole one-two, can't-run-away business? Uh, I don't want to fight you. Cursor memory! It's not a lot to ask for. Thank you. Was that so difficult? It wasn't, as a matter of fact, but, you know. Nice! Anyway... Paralyzing this numble will uh, go a long way. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to swap out and have Strikes Joe throw rocks at it. Or low kick it, whichever. Oh shit, ground type. I am picking fights I am not equipped to win. Alright, stick with Low King. Really, 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 really hate this guy right now. knows, maybe a faint attack will actually get him. Two in a row! Why not? Why the fuck not? I'm not fighting that guy again. Fuck it. Oh, maybe I should stock up on some items just in case. No, I got a better idea. I should stock up on Pokemon. I swear, if Floaty Tom were here, I need to clean this guy's clock. You know, Sparky Sue... I'm gonna give you one more level here. If you haven't learned a proper electric attack by level 18, I'm gonna just ditch you for Floaty Tom. I'll come back for you, don't worry. Once I get, you know, a fourth slot, Sparky Sue's in, and nobody's out because it's just inclusive at that point. But, you know, you got one more level in you before I'm sick of this waiting for an electric move game. I could be jammed with Floaty Tom at this point. And Floaty Tom, that dude loves to party, let me tell you. I always gotta carry that guy home. He gets dead drunk, if you know what I mean. Joke there is he's a ghost. Just gonna fight everyone I can with Sparky Sue, hoping to get that sweet, tasty level up. Well, Alright, I'm not getting a crit from this. It's not who's not the best. If I were trying to catch it though, that would be the time.
guess I could have gone for a rematch since I was back in town anyways. I don't know which one Brandon is. So it would have been ultimately fruitless effort. Sort of like fighting Nummel again, which I'm not going to do. <laughs> I have plenty of medicine if you can defeat me! I want that to be how healthcare works. Yeah, we'll give you surgery for that, uh, that tumor. But first, you need to face me in a cage match. The doctor just rips off his shirt, turns out he's super buff. Yeah. I should not be in charge of anything important in the future. Just saying. Part of my logic here is since Sandy doesn't get experience anyways, if I swap her in, maybe Sandy Sue will get all of it? Doesn't seem like it. Ah, Psyduck, a water type. It would be perfect if, I don't know, a certain somebody had electric moves. Yeah, one more, one more Sparky Sue. You have to learn Thundershock, or Shockwave, or Thunderbolt, or something. By level 18. If you don't, Floaty Tom's coming in. We're just gonna party all night. Me and Floaty Tom. So what's up? Thanks, is that it, or can you give me like a ton more? Nice. Is that it, or...? Okay. I'm actually am going to use... Yeah, I'll use the Super Potion on Sparky Sue. She needs it. Yeah, I know. And then I can use a regular potion on Sandy. Strikes Joe's pulling his weight. Sparky Sue is not pulling her weight. It's your story. Found this item first, it's mine. It's probably food. Even if it's not, I'm gonna eat it. Mighty Anna. An 18? That can't be right. Well, whatever. Strikes Joe, this is your department. Crit. A crit hit. Low kick this guy. He looks pretty heavy. See? Told you. Yeah, yeah. And again, this is why I need, like, Arm Thrust or Vital Throw. Level 18. And nothing doing. I was gonna say, unless that's a rare candy. Alright, well. Sparky Sue, I hate to break it to you. But you are out, my dear. Strikes Joe, you're in. And next, next town we get to, hitting the PC, Floaty Tom's in too. This is the way to go. I was just checking. Ah, you, sir. Just a bit more and we'll have a clear path. Good work, boys. And there is a quick way back to town, but there's no good way back to this point from there. Now I have to go through here? What's your story? Snap out of it, I'll be fine as long as I have my Pokemon. God, my back itches. We can go together. Okay. I was going to offer to go together. Proceed at your own risk. Yeah, I got a fighting type and a grass type. I think I'm good. This is just no place for amateurs. Unless you've got a good stock of items, a solid team, at least two Pokemon, you're going to have a bad time. Don't get me wrong. I'd like to have Floaty Tom with me. Bite, you say? Ha ha, I laugh at you. Too bad. Nice new effect on Confuse Ray. Not gonna lie. I'm impressed by that. Wake up slap. Yeah, sure, why not? It's 
fighting type moves? Sweet. This is 60. That's more than low kick, potentially. Uh, Axe Bide. I hate Bide. Okay, I don't know if... I picked up some glow sticks in town because... Ah, that does improve things. I have no idea which way to go, however, is the problem. Probably a Voltorb, then. Or with one of those mushroom things. Yeah, it's mushroom. Fungus. But, as we've established, don't need it. A floaty time we're here. Maybe. Don't need it. I'm level 20. No reason to fight people. Alright, so I've spent, like, probably half a glow stick to get a glow stick. It's probably a net gain. Well, I'll spend the other half leaving this area. Just don't need it. I'll apply a repel, actually. None of these guys need to level up. And I can't catch him, so no incentive. I have no reason to just fight these guys at all. You, on the other hand, I have to fight. Yeah, Floaty Tom's not in the team. Sandy and Strikes Joe, pretty much as strong as they can get. Sparky Sue, I'm sick of raising that damn thing. So, next town, I'll get my hands on a Floaty Tom, and, uh, yeah, I'll train him up a bit. He won't be hard, he's already level 18. Get him up, like, two levels, he'll be good. I don't think Cacnea gets hurt in a sandstorm, because normally you find this son of a bitch in a sandstorm. 22? How dare you, sir. Yeah, I'm good. Got a Cacnea, son. Power of the desert, you say? I think I can handle it. Uh-oh. Maybe I can't. Alright, I can. It's all good. Boy, the desert makes you dehydrated. Hang out here all the time. No. Two potions. At least two potions. Come on. Yes. Sandy. My girl. God, I'm hungry. For justice. Are you lost, chap? Perhaps you're in need of some old-fashioned R&R. &R. Well, I happen to know positively corking hot spring nearby. All you have to do is beat me in a duel on Bradley Reeland's location. I like this guy. He's got some spectacular vernacular, if you know what I'm saying. Weasel. Why is everyone, like, better equipped to be fought against with Sandy? Huh. Nice. Firepower, oh no. That's, I never got that. Water Sport. Yacht Club. I guess I will switch Pokemon. Yacht Club Dermot. I never got that about Water Sport. It's a water move that can only really be taught to water Pokemon. That weakens fire's power. And, you know, in a double battle, it kind of makes sense. Potentially. Huh. <laughs> You know, because, uh, oh dear. Because, you know, at any point in the double battle, uh, he could have a fire type out, he could have a grass type as your partner. So you use water sport and fire suddenly weakened. That works, that checks out. The story checks out there. But, you know, in a one on one match, it's very dumb. Because odds are I'm not using a fire type against your water type. And if I am, you have better options than water sport. You have many, many better options than water sport. You got the strikes, Joe. Why not wing it? Alright. I would have assumed wing attack. That's just me. 
Good gravy. Cellular reception down here is dreadful, but if I get a signal, I'll give you my word, I will call you for a rematch. No. Where's this thing? Lo and behold, the entrance to the hot springs lies behind me. Watch, if I find the premise deceitful, perish the thought. You have only the assumption to blame. Well, I think we should check that out then. Nice! No littering. Yeah, sure. Ah. The water feels great. Instantly. Pokemon are fully healed. Rad. That's fantastic. What great design, unlike Snakewood. But anyways, this is where I'm going to leave it off. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I've been Token Lad. Talk to you later. Shooting your share. See you around, Ask Lands. When we come back, we're going to proceed through this cave some more.